Hell yeah. Welcome everybody to my process video for the Proop and Murph album challenge. We gave ourselves one week to create an album with an agreed minimum of six tracks plus album art. Once you've finished this video, I would highly recommend not only checking out my album, but everyone else's, and the reaction video we filmed over on Proop and Murph. Now, without further ado, I proudly present my process with the seven day album challenge. So, we're making an album in one week. Is that easier or harder than animation? I don't know yet. I've been thrown into the deep end for this challenge because I'm used to working on my home computer at home on a Mac with Logic. And I'm currently working on a shitty second-hand laptop, which I own, which runs on Windows. I've got Studio One, which was a gift from Sean. And I have opened it once, had no fucking idea what I was doing, and haven't crawled back to it since. So I suppose my plan for right now is to just write stuff. I've got songs ideas, living in a town made out of time, which I mentioned to Jamie earlier. I was like, this kind of sounds like a song that could be real. Like in my head, it kind of sounds like a talking head song. I've got one lyric idea and it's to rhyme chicken korma with stained like Cosby's career as a comedic performer. Don't wanna choke on a fish bone. Don't wanna choke on a wishbone. Hold the other end of the wishbone. Whoa, so I'm not alone. Something like that. I don't usually do the lyrics first, but I'm trying something different. Because right now I don't know what I'm doing in terms of software, and I want to be productive. And like when I wrote a vocal melody, I can kind of work out. I'd, and like a synth melody or a bass line from that. Like if I've got the do 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 I could have a do 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 put the fake bass line that I just did with the vocals and see if it sounds good. Tell you what I'll do some drums as well. So a couple hours ago, Ethan called me um, to message me saying that Slugly escaped. The voicemail is still there. I've just saved it. I'm going to use that in the album. So welcome to day, day one, day one but later on. So I'm currently stuck with Studio One, it's all I've got. So I look up what is the easiest door to use on Google and you'll never guess what the Google says is the most easiest and versatile software. Studio One. So I'm really struggling with Studio One. Like I keep getting stuff wrong, I can't get it to record audio. It's half five, I'm pretty much exactly where I was when I did my last update. Studio One is an enigma. Honestly, at this point, if I even get one song finished, it's gonna be, um, it's gonna be a miracle. And if I'm just gonna be wasting my time for a week, like learning software I, I don't want to learn just for this challenge, then that's gonna be a waste. Yeah, I might just not do the challenge. Kids, today's word of the day is perseverance. It's not much, but it's a good start. Okay, day two. It's currently four o'clock p.m. p.m. o'clock, and I've literally only just opened up Studio One about <coughs> fifteen minutes ago. I think six songs is the goal. Like before, that was the minimum. Now that's that's something to strive for. It's quarter past six. I worked on the project for about 15, 20 minutes after I recorded that video. And then I struggled to record audio through the mic and I thought, you know what? I've worked on this long enough, let's have a break. And that break lasted about an hour and a half. So as you can see, I finally recorded a little waveform with the right mic, which took me ages to do. But the whole project has muted itself. So I've got a choice between these two input outputs and 
Asio for All is the one I just had on, the one that let me record, but I couldn't hear. Windows Audio, I've just turned this on, and I can finally hear again. However, when I go to record, I can't fucking record vocals for the life of me. I'm going to open it in Audacity, and then I'm going to record the vocals over the top in Audacity. Audacity wasn't made for the sort of thing I'm trying to do right now. It's made for more like... I don't know, just recording a sound and then you, you like do the pros, pros, post processing and shit like that. They complicated stuff in another app. I hate music. Another update. Um, so, I have Audacity I'm having lots of problems with. Like, it's not very intuitive. I've come bloody crawling back to Studio One again. And I've been configuring audio devices and shit. And I've now somehow completely buggered it up to the point where whenever I speak into my microphone I can hear it in my ears which might sound like a good thing but this even happens when I've not got Studio One open if I had Logic I could have done two songs a day I'm fucking pissed off, I hate music I also forgot to mention I've written lyrics it's on site, if I see the inventor of Studio One Magnus Studio One I'm gonna punch his cock off with my bare teeth they don't mind where the landmines land, so careful where you tread. The situation got more out of hand the more the blueberries bled. So, my plan is, I'm going to change the connection on my earbuds to my phone, I'm going to play the audio on my phone and listen to it through that, record it on here, and then change the input back to the computer microphone, because that's the only way I can get it to actually play back for some reason, and I'm going to sync it back up again. For some reason, even though I selected USB microphone, it is still recorded using the internal microphone. I'm sick of this shit, sick of wasting all my time on this when I could be editing the video for the animation challenge, or even just sitting and reading, or watching a movie, or watching a TV show, or watching midget porn, anything would be more productive than just fucking spending four hours trying to figure out why I can't record shit properly. File, don't save, motherfucker, command Z all the shit, and that's it, I'm calling it a day. Welcome to day maybe three yeah three uh it's half six p.m i was busy from nine till five i've figured out how i'm going to record i'm going to record it separately in the just windows voice recorder app with the audio playing through my phone through my headphones and then import that sound into studio one it stopped that you right before i was recording but my housemates were playing some pretty loud music so i wouldn't want to get set up for recording <laughs> <coughs> Fucked up. <coughs> Bye. Other noises, such as Ain't Nothing Gonna Break My Stride, the song. Instrumental's done, and I'm very happy to say I've written some of the best lyrics of all time. The narrator finds a group of Jehovah's Witnesses on the streets eating curry and hovis bread, and he caves their skull in with a rock. Bazinga. It is. Let me check this out. 25 to 10 on day 3. And. My first song is 100% complete. I'm going to start a new song because I've got a pretty solid idea, right? So, I told you about the Prude voicemail. On top of that, I've also got a WhatsApp uh, thing from Sam. It starts off with Hello Murph and then he talks about shit that Sean said. But I've just got footage of Sam saying Hello Murph and then I'm going to skin you alive. And that's going to be like the call open for a Sam dish track.
I'm making a good head start on the third track, I think. It sounds alright. Welcome to the Day Drinking Show. Uh, it's 5pm. I'm your host, Murph. These are the lyrics so far. Pretty clever. So, 10 to 11. What exactly have I done in the past five hours? Well, about <clears throat> 20 minutes, half an hour after I recorded the video to say we're going to get work on the project, um, got a message from Ethan Proops saying, Oh, Murph, come around. So I did. I've been there since. Got back about 10 minutes ago. I forgot to update you guys last night on what happened with the lyrics. I've written the full eight bars and looking over it now, it might be too mean. But I'm gonna stick with it anyway because um, I think that a gangster rap is more important than someone's feelings. Basically, I recorded the vocals for the diss track, Sam diss track, and they didn't sound right, so I'm gonna do it again in a bit. Awesome. That's a highly doubt I'm going to be able to record anything for a while because someone from in, over that direction in my house is playing fucking What You Say by Jason Derulo. So, I've finished my second song. Uh, I've decided not to add any lyrics. I think it works pretty well without them. But I did add in that little Star Wars sample thingy at the end. I'm running through my list of ideas. Living in a town made of time is way too complicated for me to do. The idea I had in my head was quite long. All that full of piss I'm not doing because it's rude. Wishbone became track one and now the lyrics to Wishbone don't fit. Jehovah's Witness eating Hovis. I of course have done that. Venom by Marge. Now this isn't here because I wanted to do it. It's here because I said it as a joke and now Sam and Proop and Jamie are expecting me to do Venom by March. Right, so I'm going to postpone me recording the audio until tomorrow or Friday because it's a fact that I will just sing quieter if there are other people in the house and I don't want to sacrifice the quality of the recording. So hopefully everyone in my house goes out Friday night, partying and shit, I can hang back and I can do my recordings. Day six, just finished my fifth instrumental. Uh, it's okay. The final day. I really need to make the most of today. Unfortunately, I woke up in 20 to three. So I'm gonna do what I usually do when I'm in the final stages of an album. And let's make a spreadsheet. Blueberries, I've done the instrumental. I've written some lyrics, but they're not recorded. Jehovah's is finished. Master of None, I just need to record the lyrics. Bell's Palsy, I've got an instrumental, but lyrics written, vocals recorded, nope. Ploop 5, a shit name. Um, that's the one I just did. Plan for Blueberries. Write verses, stick with the shit lyrics I've got anyway. It's not a great instrumental, it's the first song I did. And honestly, I kind of need a bad song in there because the memorably bad ones are also going to be as good as the good ones. Master of None, that's what I'm calling the Sam Bates diss track because it's like Master Bates, Master of None, but I didn't put that bar in there. So I am going to have to change that song title. Uh, this morning I got uh, a letter from my granddad. It's a very, it's a very nice letter, but it's, it's also very funny. And I'm going to use the first paragraph as sort of like a monologue. Okay, so I have rearranged Plub 5 to be an instrumental song with no vocals. I have slightly rearranged Bell's Palsy to fit better with the words from the letter. Um, and Blueberries, I've written the rest of the lyrics. I say written the rest of the lyrics. However, uh, the first verse is me saying milk from a chicken over and over again. Time to work on the instrumental for track six. And then all I've got to do is record. And then if I've got time for the seventh track, Marge Venom. So, I hit a creative roadblock with the lyrics for the sixth song. So, what I've done is I've gone back and I've recorded the um, Sam Bates lyrics. Just the quiet white kid fucking rapping in his room. Like, that does, it is a bit cringe. 
Sam Bates this track is exporting. Uh, I've I've kept the weird name, but I think it's fine. It's not it's not it's not that bad. Pretty much all I need to do now: record the vocals for Wishbone and a Homeless Man with a Card Reader. I have I've mixed up the uh, track listing. I've got Bell's Palsy first because it's a nice intro. It's a nice mixture of everything. And it's very short. Followed by Wishbone because it's really crap. Ah. The album is finished. The final one is exporting. It's now titled Deeper. And this one is going to be the final track on the album. Uh, I'm going to do a slight bit of rearranging because I, I do think this one is the best. I think this is the best. I am quite happy with all six songs. Like, Wishbone's kind of kind of a stinker, but it's it could it could be a lot worse. And I think it is it is funny. It's ten fifty four, so I've got an hour and six minutes until the deadline. So I've got an hour and six minutes to make album art and album title. So album art. I did say I wanted my album art to be a photo I took this week, and in anticipation of the fact that I would forget this which I kind of did, very early in the week I took a uh, sort of like a picture of me just sat here looking out my window. Here we go, here's the album artwork, I've got like a nice black border around the edges, there's my little astronaut, and I'm going to call it 168 hours because that's how many hours are in a week. That's really weird. It's really weird my neck and like, oh that's fucking gross. I've just listened back to all six tracks back to back in the track list and I'm immensely happy with this. Track five is called Sam Bates This Track. Oh, no. yes. 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 That's so done. Hello. Hello. Sam How could you have said this? <laughs> Turn off the Weezer and listen to this. It's my brand new Samuel Bates rap disc. Aussies in Minecraft, you're taking the piss. Seven whole days and you turned out this. His bars are historic. No, I ain't Justin like Yorick. I'm gonna punch you in your dick. Nigga, the train's a Weymouth to assassinate Dave Warwick. <laughs> Said he's avoiding female persons, but that's just what he tells himself because girls don't they guys who like Pinkerton. And it's <laughs> Try to spell your mum's name right, I think you're dyslexic. <laughs> if I had a pound for every word you misread, I'd finally have enough to put a bounty on your head. We had sticky wings, by Sean we were fed. How did you repay him putting prawns in his bed? <laughs> I can't comprehend how you intend to mend this relationship with your lifelong friend. I don't see Sean forgiving you, I can't pretend. It's your game of chess to be in checkmate. Go back to Wayman with your faux Chinese mate. Oh no, this combo is a no-go. Who likes some going defending Dr. Rivers Cuomo? Masturbation, masturbation. I don't like your music, it has to be stated. Your most recent single, I didn't rate it. The thought of it made me feel hated. Oh damn. Yeah. Oh, what the fuck? Oh shit. Oh, you just started something else. It's quite rude throughout this song's runtime. <laughs> uh, I still owe you £1.49 for those fries. Oh, yeah, still. Oh, yeah, I'll put you up, man. Yeah. <laughs>